Heavenly Father, we do ask that you bless these four hands, that they might always be held by one another. Keep them tender and gentle as they nurture each other in this, the wondrous love. May both Jared and Jessica see these, their four hands together, acting as healer, protector, shelter, and guide. Use these hands to make a difference in the world. I'll never forget the phone call from her after her first official date for Jared. I could tell by the tone of excitement in her voice that this was it. Jessica found her prince charming. He absolutely is everything in a man that Jessica wanted or needed. He makes her smile harder and she laughs louder than I've ever seen or heard her do before. And we passively learn these things that just, you know, make us who we are today. The, the compassion that he learns uh, from his mother and the, the leadership and strength, you know, that he learned from his father. As a child, you know, everything seems great. Uh, and then we grow up and we realize that sometimes life's not great. And those lessons that we learn from our, from our family, you know, they prepare you for moments like this and you realize that there are things worth, worth celebrating. pledge your vows to one another. Be reminded that no other vows are more sacred and no other words are more tender than those you're about to assume. May you both live a long and happy life upon this earth. Bless you. This woman whom you hold by the hand is to be your wife. She has given you one of the most sacred possessions under heaven, a woman's life and a woman's life. Do you vow here, as you've also promised to Jessica, that you be true and loyal, patient in sickness, comforting in sorrow, and forsaking all others, keep yourself only under her, so long as you both shall live by your Jessica, this man whom you hold by the hand is to be your husband. It's upon your life, your love, and your devotion that he will lean upon for strength and for inspiration. Do you vow here, as you've also promised to Jerry, that you be loyal in adversity, ministering to him in affliction, comforting to him in sorrow, and forsaking all others, keep yourself only unto him so long as you both shall live? I do. I now pronounce them husband and wife. You may kiss your beautiful smiling bride. Ladies and gentlemen, will you please stand for the formal pronouncement? And will you please welcome with applause as we ask them to kiss one more time, Mr. and Mrs. Jared Lowe. Life is meant to be shared with someone else. And so I'm, I'm so happy to be standing here next to my best friend and, and the woman that he's chosen to share his life with and to share those struggles and those joys with. You know, Jessica, you've, you've been here with him through the, the toughest times of his life and you share his ambitions and 
um, you know, you bring him joy. And as his friend, I couldn't, I couldn't ask for more than that. You make each other laugh, and you treat each other like gold. And isn't that what we all really hope for? So my wish for you is that when you wake up every day, you see something more beautiful in each other than you did the day before. So let's raise our glasses to the bride and groom. May you both have a long and healthy laugh together. Cheers. Father, above all things, Lord, I pray, Lord, that they see, Father, that the love that they have for each other, Father, be the thing that keeps them together, Lord. Thank you for us being able to gather here and celebrate Jared and Jessica. We ask all these things in Jesus' name. Amen.